Hi, my name is MK1 Jeffrey Redmond. I'm with Engineering System School Fast Response Cutter staff at Training Center Yorktown. This video will cover the removal and replacement of the MTU 20V 4000 M93L intercooler core, also known as the charged air cooler. The MPC that coincides with this task is Alpha 51030 decimal D. This task is normally performed as part of a 6,000 hour QO3 maintenance or as a corrective maintenance upon failure. This video is for familiarization with the task and shall not take place of official procedures promulgated by a patrol board product line. Before we start, let's cover the tools you'll need. Two pry bars, 3 8 drive electric wrench, half inch drive torque wrench, half inch drive socket wrench, 3 8 drive socket wrench, 19 millimeter combination wrench, 13 millimeter combination wrench, half ton come along, lifting strap, M12 lifting eye, 8 millimeter Allen, 8 millimeter Allen 3 8 drive, 24 millimeter socket half inch drive, box cutter, 6 inch 3 8 drive extension, 3 8 drive to half inch reducer, and formable funnel. This is the intercooler core removal tool. Uh, this will be either provided by a patrol boat product line or will have to be fabricated in-house. On the table are the two end plates that you attach to either end of the intercooler core itself. These plates will assist in the removal and installation of the core. It is required to remove the engine coolant from the engine. Refer to MPC Alpha 51111 decimal D. We've already done this, so let's get started. Remove the starboard cover drain plug and drain the coolant into a bucket below. Remove the intercooler coolant supply discharge manifold segment. Drain any excess into a bucket. Remove the attaching bolts for the starboard end cover. These are Allen headed bolts and we've found it very helpful to have on hand a form of funnel to drain fluid with into buckets. It makes it easy to get at those hard to catch places. After the covers off, remove the gasket, then the sealing cord. Remove the port side cover vent valve line and valve assembly. Loosen the Allen head bolts and remove the port outer end cover. You'll need a lifting eye and lifting gear to remove this cover. Loosen the Allen head bolts and remove the port inner end cover. and then remove the gasket and its sealing cord. Sometimes the gasket comes off with the cover. Attach the removal jig end plate to one side of the intercooler core assembly. Using lifting gear, attach the intercooler core removal jig cage to the intercooler housing. Using a chain fall and pry bars, pull the intercooler core assembly into the cage assembly. Be careful with the pry bars not to pry on the fins of the cooler core when removing. Once the core assembly is fully into the cage assembly, support the cage assembly with lifting gear and remove the cooler core from the housing and prepare it to be removed from the engine room. If necessary, install new end cover passage seals on the end covers. These seals come in a long length that you cut to fit exactly.
Use a thin bead of elastiseal to attach the seals to the covers. Ensure your Condition A cooler core has sealing strips on the side of it. If not, contact Product Line. With the Condition A intercooler core in a cage assembly, attach to the housing of the intercooler, and using pry bars, lifting gear, and chain falls, pull the intercooler core assembly into the intercooler housing. Once installed, remove the cage assembly. Install the starboard side seal cord lubricated with hockey form. Then the gasket and cover and attach with the Allen head bolts. Tighten those to specified torque. It may be helpful to temporarily attach some tabs at the corners to help with the seal cord retention. It is important to refer to the current maintenance procedure card or technical publication for tightening specifications and tolerances. These change from time to time by the manufacturer or other authority. Install the port side gasket and inner cover and attach with the Allen bolts. Tighten to specified torque. Install the guide band and the sealing cord. The guide band comes pre-cut. That is normal. Ensure the sealing cord is properly in place. Place a new O-ring on the port side outer cover and install the outer cover using the Allen head bolts. Tighten to specified torque. Install the vent valve assembly and then connect the vent line. Tighten to specified torque. Using hockey form as a lubricant, lubricate and install all new O-rings on the intercooler coolant supply discharge manifold segment. This bolt must be installed prior to installation of the housing. Install the intercooler coolant supply discharge manifold segment 
and tighten bolts to specified torque. Once complete, the rest of the coolant piping can be installed, taking care not to cut any O-rings. Then the engine can be filled with coolant per MPC A51111D. Once all installation is complete, conduct a performance test to make sure repairs were successful.